What's up guys? Welcome back to our video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. This intro is only going to be 20 seconds long. Since this is going to be a decently long video. Welcome. We Today we are start, starting all rides of the state of Texas. We're starting with Six Flags over Texas today. So this is going to be a long video. Definitely more than 10 minutes. Let's get right into it. So first up, you have Aquaman Power Ray, which is opening in 2022. That is a mock power splash. Aquaman Power Ray, first of its kind in North America. First of its kind in North America water coaster. You need to be 40, 48 inches tall to ride. Then you have Batman the Ride, which is their B&M invert. Take a Mancy ride over loops and twists of Gotham. You have to be 54 inches. The minimum height is 54 inches. Then you have, next up you have Catwoman Whip, which is Catwoman Whip, which is a Zamperla Endeavor. Kind of like an Enterprise. It's a more modern version of an Enterprise. Take take on Catwoman with this, this unique attraction. You have to be 48 inches tall to ride that. Then you have Dive Bomber Alley, which is their Sky Coaster. Take a delirious leap into extreme exhilaration. You need to be 42 inches tall to ride, and it is an upcharge attraction. Next up, you have El Diablo, which is their Larson Loop, the world's largest loop coaster. I think, I don't think they've changed that. I believe Mardi Gras Hangover is the largest now at Great America, but I can't confirm that. Next up is Harley Quinn's Insanity, which is a crazy, crazy ride that breaks down a lot. I will show you a picture of it. Credit to whoever took that picture. Credit to whoever took that picture. That's what it looks like. It's that type of ride. So credit to whoever took that picture. You need to be 48 inches tall to ride. Then you have Judge Roy Scream, which is the park's wooden roller coaster. Good time thrills on the law of the land. You have to be 42 inches tall to ride that. Then you have Justice League, Justice League Battle for Metropolis, which is their dark ride, the park's dark ride. U ultimate, the ultimate superhero's adventure. 42 inches. You have to be 42 inches tall. Next up is Lavi Vora. Which is her Instagram bobsled roller coaster. Win the gold medal for slithering. 42 inches tall to ride. Then you have Mr. Breeze Reverse Blast, which is a premier rise launch roller coaster. Go from zero to chill in seconds flat. You have to be 54 inches tall to ride that. Then you have New Texas Giant, which is the park's autumn sea roller coaster. Fun fact, New Texas Giant, Giant is the first ever RMC. Um, you have to be 48 inches tall to ride that. Next, that. next up, you have Pandemonium, which is the park's Gerslauer spinning roller coaster. Create your own masterpiece of spin. You have to be 42 inches tall and 47 inches tall to ride alone. Then you have Runaway Mountain, which is the park's indoor roller coaster. Dive into the cave and conquer the mountains. You have to be 48 inches tall to ride that. Then you have Shockwave, which is their short scoff looping roller coaster. The first and best looper for generations of G-Force finds. You have to be 42 inches tall to ride that. Then you have Superman Tower Power, which is the park's drop tower. Then you have Texas Sky Streamer, which is the park's swing tower ride or whatever you want to call it i call i like calling them the sky swings then you have the joker which is their sns free spin you guys should know that by now it's there at, at most success park the sns free spin is joker besides our fiesta texas and mexico then you have the riddler revenge which is a zamperla giant discovery then you have titan which is a Giovanola Hyper Roller Coaster. Then, 
we go to our family rides. Hold up. Okay. So then next up we have Batwing. Which is a flat ride of some sort. Take a delete or sleep into extreme alteration. Then you have Boomtown Depot. Take a trip on this authentic steam engine tour which has been operating for five decades. Then you have Casa Magnetica, which reopened this year. Experience a walkthrough attraction where up is down and down is up. None. None with a dull 54 inches tall to ride it. Then you have the Cherpol Antique Cars. Take a relaxing drive through the country in a classic turn of the last century motor car. Then you have Cloud Bouncer, which is a balloon ride park. Then you have Consquetador, which is the park swinging ship attraction. Then you have El, El Cerrito, which is one of the log plumes at the park. Then you have El Sombrero, which is your typical wipeout style attraction. Then you have Gunslinger, which is your like yo-yo swing ride type attraction. Then you have La Fiesta de la Texas, which is their teacups ride. Then you have Mini Mind Train, make history in your own backyard, which is an aerodynamics Mini Mind Train. So it's a mind train for like the baby little kids, like very, very little, like four year olds. Because runway mind train, the normal mind train might be too scary for them. So then you have Oil Derrick, which is their observation tower. Then you have Roaring Rapids, which is the Parks River Rapids. Then you have Rodeo, which is a flat ride of some sort. Then you have Sidewinder. Which looks like their scrambler style ride. Then you have the Silver Star Silver Silver Star Carousel. A magical merry-go-round for the young and young at heart. That's the park's merry-go-round. Then you have the six island six sorry, the six flags speedway go-karts, which is the park's go-karts, right? And then you have the Texas Depot. Ride the rails with a gust of steam. So, I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything quickly, so hold on. Okay, I didn't miss anything on there. Let me make sure I didn't miss any of the family rides that we just did. And then, we'll move to the kid rides. Yep, we got all of those. So now we're doing the kids' rides. So first up, we have Boot Scootin', which is a boot themed ride for the kids. My phone is acting weird. Then you have Bugs Bunny Boomtown, which is a kitty area. You have Bugs Bunny Cloud Bouncer, which is their frog hopper style ride. Then you have Cadu Lake Barge. Waggle and gaggle on a boat that skitters back and forth across the wobbly waters of Cadu Lake. Then you have Looney Tunes Adventure Camp, which is a playground. I believe that playground is pretty new. It looks pretty new. And the picture, it has Aquaman Power Wave in the back. So it, it, it definitely was taken recently. Then you have Marvin the Martin Space Rockets, which is a space-themed ride. An out-of-the-world, an out-of-this-world experience. Then you have Speedy Gonzalez Trucking Across America, which is a kitty truck ride. Then you have Sylvester and Tweety's State Ferris Wheel, which is a kitty Ferris Wheel. Then you have Taz Tornado Springs. Or Taz Tornado Swings. When you take flight with Taz, you're in for a wild, twisting, winding adventure. Then you have Wiley Coyote's Grand Canyon Blaster, which is a the park's kitty roller coaster. I believe it's built by Vacoma or Zamperla, one of the two. 
And then you have Yosemite Sam Texas Teacups, which is the kitty teacup ride. That's all the rides of Six Flags over Texas. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. We'll be doing Six Flags Fiesta Texas next week, so stay tuned for that. And all rides is going to go on for a while for Texas since it is a huge state. We have like another 10 parks after this to do. So it's going to be a while. I might, I haven't decided yet, I might do an All Rides Week. Remember how we did an All Rides Week for California because of all the parks there? We might do one for Texas too and definitely Florida as well. That's it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. I'll see you next time. Bye. Florida's still a long ways away. We're all the way by the West Coast still. And our next date will be, I'll tell you, here, I'll check for you guys quickly. I just need to pull up a U.S. map because that's how I get my way around. U.S. map. Showing pictures that match. Okay. So, our next state will be Oklahoma. So stay tuned. Our next all-ride state will be Oklahoma. See you next time. Bye.